thanks for watching. Today we picked up a little shotgun and uh, this is a Hatfield, but it's chambered in a 410 semi-automatic. So let's take a look at this little shotgun and uh, check it out. So uh, I'm gonna bring the cameras down and we'll take a look at this little shotgun. Now, guys, right out of the box, we got the shotgun, we got a lock, and let's see, I think we got some chokes here. Uh, yeah, we got, uh, let's see, this would be improved cylinder, I think. Uh, this one's full and probably modified and your little ramp to take them out with. So you got three chokes with it. And let's see. Uh, Hatfield. Continuing the tradition. Okay. Semi-automatic shotgun instruction manual. Instruction manual. I'm sorry. Uh, guys, uh, I kind of took a look at this little manual. Uh, it shows you your tape down. Uh, it's got a uh, disassembly with all your parts numbered in case you need a part and you have to order it. I, I like that. It tells you the part number and uh, actually the name of ind in individual parts that you might need for your little shotgun in the future. But uh, it has your disassembly for cleaning. Uh, so pretty good little manual. I like that. And now let's, uh, get this box out of the way. I think that's it. And let's take a look at this little shotgun. Let me get rid of this box. Now, yeah, we'll raise these cameras up. Now guys, it's got fiber optic sights on the front, your bead rib barrel, wood stock, and forearm, and cross boat uh, safety right here. And guys, this gun has been cleared before the video. I mean, a brand new gun, never been fired. So, uh, <laughs> pretty nice looking little shotgun. Now, this one has a 28-inch uh, barrel. The overall length of this one is, uh, I think, 47 and three-quarter inches. Total overall length. And now that weight ain't bad on this. Now, I've never checked that out. But uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And now I'll tell you what, uh, these are kind of hard to get a hold of. Uh, the 20, the next hardest one, the 28, uh, I've seen a pretty good lot of the 28s. Uh, the 12s are pretty easy to get a hold of, but uh, this is pretty nice. And this is chambered for two and three quarter inch shell and uh let me check this out on the barrel no it says two and three quarter and uh, three inch so you can shoot the three inch in this so uh yeah we're checking this out together guys just took it out of the box i just kind of took a peep at that manual and uh i was wanting to find the weight out and i guess i could have looked that up online but uh, I wanted to show this to you guys and see what y'all think about this little shotgun. Now, if you have one, get down in the comment section and let us know what you think. And if you've shot yours, I'd like to know because this one's never been forged yet. So if we can, we'll put some rounds through this little shotgun. Because this was presented for a review. Now, I've shot the 12 gauge. 
and the Hatfield, and I've noticed it likes high breath ammo, uh, but it will shoot the low breath. Uh, the best thing on these shotguns, the auto, semi autos like this, is you got a button right here. Push down, lock this back, and leave it for about a week before you shoot your little shotgun. Just take some of that tension off that spring and kind of helps with the breaking period on that. And uh, it also helped with that 12 gauge. And it was running great about anything was put into it, low brass, high brass. So uh, I, I kind of like that. Now, some of these was equipped with a gas ring in here. It had high paired, low paired, and you could flip that over, shoot low paired, flip it back over, shoot high paired. But I think on this one, uh, it will adjust itself uh, to whatever load, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, this has to be a fun little shotgun to shoot. Has a pretty nice recoil pad. I um, mean, it's not nothing. It's kind of firm, so it's not going to give you a lot of relief there, but it's, I mean, it's soft rubber. So, uh, not too bad. Now, to release your boat, right here. Just push, and that releases your boat, or your slide. That trigger pull, that on this one, is nice. Now, um, that was really, it was just firm and smooth, and... Uh, with no drag there, I, I like that. So, uh, but not bad at all. You're not just gonna reach up there and uh, set the trigger off or anything, but it's, uh, that feels pretty good. I, I was trying to look in the manual for some of this information, and if I didn't overlook it, uh, uh, it wasn't in there that I could, I could see. But, uh, guys, uh, I had the opportunity to show you this, and it's the Hatfield. So, uh, 410 gauge, semi-auto shotguns. Got a silver, uh, what they call spoon down here. Uh, I like it. Just looks great. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see if we can give this one a try. And like I said, it was presented to us for a review. And so, there you go. I mean, it's, uh, it seems to be a well-made little shotgun. And uh, so, guys, uh, tell me what you think about the Hatfield 410 semi-auto shotgun. I would love to hear from you. Now, we got a giveaway going on, and it's going to end. We'll be drawing uh, the names, and it's uh, we got two combat slide stops that AJ's product has donated to us for a giveaway, and then we got a big gift box we're going to be giving away, and that uh, we're going to draw those names out at the end of this month, so uh, uh, at the end of February, so... Uh, Get in there and all you gotta do is uh, go to their website. If you're interested in the combat slide stop for your 1911, just uh, go in there and make a comment and uh, subscribe to their channel. And they got a YouTube channel and I got a link and we'll leave it down in, uh, in the about section on this in the description. Uh, somewhere on the video, there'll be a link. You'll be able to get down in there and check out their site. and. If you want to get in on the gift box that I'm giving away, and now we'll be giving away and mailing out all prizes, but uh, check out their channel. Uh, I think you'll like it. Pretty nice product they got there. I really love it on my 1911. But now if you're interested in a gift box that we're going to be giving away, and it's going to have all kinds of stuff in it. We're going to be putting stuff in it all month. So, uh, and just keep adding to it, and then ever who wins, they get everything. And uh, now we're not going to tell you what's in there, but it's going to be some good stuff. So uh, get on the giveaway video and 
go in there and if you've not subscribed, subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, you're already in. All you gotta do is make a comment so we know who you are. And so uh, that's, that's all you gotta do to enter. And then we'll be giving it away at the end of this month. And as always, we appreciate you watching. We thank you for all your views and comments. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. And give us a big thumbs up. It helps. And we'll see you all the next time on The Walk Without. Thank you ever so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of y'all.